unemployment and let's make it uh let's make it black and white i'll leave a couple spaces in case i don't know what maybe we got a couple of them for spouses or whatever so this will just be just the first one unemployment unemployment and i said it was ten thousand. so this will be total unemployment let's check the spelling of this thing did you spell it right i did of course i did spelling master if i went back to like grade school i could probably skip in like the 50 percent percentile of the first graders so i'm going to say let's delete the let's pull this in i'm going to sum this up boom let's bring it on over to page the formula 110 and there's uh the 12950 get this to the 9750 9750 page two uh 17134 so let's put that here 17134 and the calculation of the 15,000 withholdings gets us to the 2134 but they probably calculated some penalties of 17 dollars put the penalties for 17 2151 2151 so the general idea of course is in most cases the unemployment is going to be uh includable in income now remember if there was a situation where the unemployment was wrong for whatever reason and there was a lot of fraud cases uh that it seemed that the irs was was checking on before meaning you got a 1099 g but you didn't actually get the ten thousand dollars in this case you want to go to the issuer of the 1099 and try to get them to give the irs a corrected 1099 otherwise you're going to have a problem if you had to repay some of the ten thousand dollars because they overpaid you then you're going to say okay they gave me a 1099 for the 10,000 but I paid back like 1,000 let's say so then if I go back on over we've got the difference of 9,000 and it's noting here the 1,000 that was paid that's important because the IRS of course is going to have a 1099 that says $10,000 on it so you want to be able to tell them yes there was $10,000 maybe on it but I repaid part of it, the refund part of it, and therefore it's down to 9,000 so that then they can still tie in the 1099 to your tax form. If you just put 9,000 net without this information, then th you would expect the government would probably come back at you and, and, uh, and say that, that, uh, that you didn't include the proper amount on the form 1099. So that kind of detail is important. Now, if you had income from a prior year, that basically you had to refund, then you might need to look at some instructions uh, with regards to should you amend the prior year or something like that. But if the prior year, if like in the prior year, like 2021, they didn't include unemployment compensation in income, then you may not have, you know, <laughs> you might not have an issue uh, in that in that uh, instance because because it wouldn't have been included in income anyways. But in any case, that's the general idea. It's usually included in income. Be careful with the withholding situation. If you're if you're in a tax preparation situation and people are calling you and saying, hey, look, I'm getting uh, unemployment because I'm, I'm going to uh, be laid off or whatever, then the question is, should you have withholdings or not? And you might need to do a projection to figure that out accurate, accurately. Uh, and, and so that's something just uh, to keep in mind uh as well going forward obviously when you actually do the tax preparation it is what it is by that time you're gonna have to do what's been dictated generally by the 1099 which is generally to include it in income